We talked a little bit about the commitment that you've seen so far from the Abu Dhabi guys. I mean, not just the government, obviously, but the private sector as well. At what point do you see um, that kind of cross-border flow in terms of money being put into UAE, Middle East startups? Well, it's happening now. I mean, we're yeah. literally making our first investment as we speak, and there are people pushing buttons. Maybe some of the people who are watching us now will go and invest in our first uh, Abu Dhabi-based fund, which we're raising money for. But we will be making lots of investments here. I mean, yeah. we are so committed because we believe that innovation is no longer just going to come out of Silicon Valley or Tel Aviv. It's coming out of everywhere. But this region in particular, when you look at the... What makes it attractive? Uh, the entrepreneurial drive. Yeah. The people here. Look, look around. I just walked around. These buildings, this is entrepreneurship. Having built these cities out of the desert, having made so much progress, and now people are educated, they're focused on artificial intelligence, they're focused on food security, they're focused on drones, and it's a whole new world. So I believe that the next big things are going to come from this part of the world as well. And especially when people get together, like Israelis and Emiratis and even broader uh, audiences to, to work and make this happen. And it's about bringing the investors together with the entrepreneurs, together with the multinationals, together with yeah. the governments. And I'll tell you that the government here has just been so incredibly positive and welcoming. I mean, it's really sort of an example to many countries around the world in terms of how to attract companies, how to help them, make them feel welcome. As a venture capitalist, what is the most attractive area for you right now? Are we talking about AI? We talked so much last Everything week with the Dubai it. Air Show. We were, we were focusing a great deal, my colleague Dan, on drones and what was happening with Edge, which is, of course, the Abu Dhabi-backed uh, military arm. Um, what is interesting specifically? I love food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? A man take, after my take, own heart. Take a look at me. <laughs> I, I love, love that. I love food. Um, I think that we're in the midst of a complete revolution in terms of the way we grow food. Mm -hmm. um, we have an investment in a company called Plenty, yeah. which is the world's leading vertical agriculture. You can grow food with 95% less water. Which what is incredibly more? important. It's part, part of the, of the world. world. Oh, my gosh. All but, of us. But it's not just that. It's what's going on in alternative protein. Yeah. So when you look at meat or chicken or fish or eggs or milk, literally in most of those areas, we've got investments in companies who are going to grow them in vats, grow them inside. Mm -hmm. Again, so you don't have to pollute the world with uh, uh, cows and whatnot. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I love cows, but let them be. OK, let's go figure out ways to get beyond this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were investors in Beyond Meat. We were mm -hmm. very successful with that. And we're now doing a whole uh, row of others. So and I think also the data collection in traditional farms, the use of AI to manage this, there is a revolution going on in, in the world's largest industry, mm -hmm. which is agriculture and food.